Josh said, well, we're good with him. Man, I'm all right, man. Kind of a little bit tired, but I'm, I'm good, bro. Just trying to get all these shoes done in, in time for this event. I can never get my tape on right. Honestly, the best thing I can tell you about taping is just practice makes perfect, man. You are uh, the more you tape, the better you're gonna get at it. So even if you gotta like have a shoe just like this, tape it one time, take the tape off, and retape it. You just gotta keep on practicing it. And then you'll get it right. I used to have trouble taping. But I, mean, I just kept doing it. Yeah, just keep on going. Same tape to use. Uh, I can show you the tape I use. This is Scotch 2020. It's a contractor grade. I don't know if you can see that. But yeah, that's the kind I use. Yeah. No problem, man. I got you. You ask a question, I'm going to do my best to help you out. It's a little toasty out here today, man. More than a little toast. It's, it's hot. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. But gotta get it done. Uh, my website. I use my website. Um, I used to use like other apps and stuff like that. Like you know, from time to time, I still do it. Like Macari and stuff like that. It's plenty of places you can sell your stuff. Plenty of. Instagram. But it's certain requirements for Instagram, like your page gotta have or whatever.
with you, man. I appreciate that, man. I appreciate it. I try to keep it fresh and new on my website. I try to constantly like do different designs and everything. If I remember to put them on there, because it's like so many designs that I do that I just forget to put them on there. I try my best to keep coming up with different stuff. This is actually an order right here that I'm about to knock out. One of my original designs. It's cadet, my website is cadetb7.com. cadetb 7 dot com stay the hand we're good with it man I know y'all see me keep on looking back. I'm checking on these chickens, man. Making sure they don't run off or do nothing stupid like get themselves killed. Get the job. I feel you, man. Gotta get it in. Must get to the chip. In more ways than one. What's good with it? Karma. Is that nah, I don't think that's the same. I think you you a new one to the live. Welcome. It's almost time to lay this paint down, y'all. Just about time. Stay the hand. You must got a chill job, man, because you, you always on the last at work. You must got a super chill job. Hold on. We finna have to go check on these chickens. Make sure they ain't doing nothing dumb. Man, for sure. That tape's so important, man. You mess around and don't tape it right. All right. Oh yeah, man. If y'all get away from over there. Go back over. There. Yeah, look. Move. Go back. Go back. Y'all trip. Going too far. Yeah. But yeah, that tape's so important, man. What I say? Y'all going right back over there. It must be something good over there. Oh man. Y'all don't go back in. Y'all don't know how to act. Get back in there. Go. 
Look at them. This is bad. Why y'all can't do nothing now? Disobedient. You know, yeah. Yeah, you gotta keep that tight game proper though. Otherwise, once you take it off and you think you finish, you're not finished. You're gonna have plenty of touch ups and all that mess to do. It slows you down. Right, let's paint beside the internet. Uh, all you gotta do is just Google Google um, Angeles Paint near me, and they should show you like different stores that may possibly have it. And then this is what I did: I looked up the stores that may have them, and then I called each one of them to make sure because sometimes they'll they'll um, be like this place has it or like Michaels or something like that or have it, and they actually don't. <laughs> so always call before you go up there but that's all i did i googled paint the engine's paint near me found the store called them they said they got it i went up there and made it happen and then the store that i go to is like when you buy the paint at uh, the regular price the more you buy you get a discount to it so yeah i, I like i like going up there to buy my paints no, nah, they good stuff. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's the chicken life. In more ways than one. Having chicken is cool. Oh, my goodness. I don't know where I can find my stuff. I'm almost start, finna start paying, y'all. Y'all just bear with me. How long for just a sec? I gotta knock all this prep out. Not all of cause I got them mostly prep. It's just, I don't know, I be paranoid with the prep game. I be done prepping shoot like three, four times. The best tip I can give you paint paint as much as often as you can just keep on paint whenever you get an opportunity to paint that's the best advice I can give paint and do research find people that I don't, I don't want to say that's better than you but like are more experienced than you if they make videos or like how I'm doing, like they go live, man, join it. Tune in. Just keep on painting and do as much research as you can. You're going to get the way you want to be in this. That's what I did. And as much as you can. I'm finna be working on like three or four pair of shoes at one time. So like while these dry, I'm gonna be working on another pair. No problem, Melvin, I got you. You wanna know something else? Just ask me. I'll put you on game, man. 
I ain't stay there. You need to get you need to get some more uh experience, man. Shoot, cause it, if you that good with doing only seven pair, shoot, imagine if you get to paint more often. Some seed. Yeah, the more you paint, the faster you're going to progress. And I'm not saying, like, hurry up and try to finish a pair of shoes. No, that's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is painting. Taking your time and, and, and getting it done. Just getting that experience under your belt. Not just throwing something on the shoe and calling it done and saying that's getting your experience. No, bro. Nah. You got to pass one class to go to the next course. You feel me? So I say just, man, keep on paint. Oh, I feel you, I feel you. So you more focus on like making the clothes and stuff. Are you asking me how to place an order? Or if you ask me how to place an order, all you gotta do is just go to my website. I got preset designs and all of that. But if you want to like um have a custom order, then you would go to um i believe it's contact us or whatever and then it's like a whole little form you fill out to where you can tell me what you what design you want and everything and it, it, it depends on my workload but normally it's around like two to six weeks with me if you have a custom order so Ah, okay, okay. You making that transition. Okay, I feel you. I feel you, steady hand. I feel that, yeah, yeah. Yeah, once you broaden your, your, your business, yeah, definitely, you get more money. Because you can be a one-stop shop. The people don't have to go nowhere else. Just say you do the shoes or whatever. They can, um, <laughs> they can get their outfit along with their shoes. They don't have to go try to find nothing. You be one-stop shop. That's what I'm in the uh, process of trying to get done because i mean uh, if y'all been watching me for a while y'all know i already do have been doing clothes and everything but now i'm trying to get to where with every or one of my original designs i have uh clothing to match those just so folks don't have to go try to find something somewhere else and go through that hassle and all that yeah that airbrush take a, a minute to get used to i ain't gonna lie to you yeah, it take a minute. Yes, it do. It do. It's definitely not gonna happen overnight. Definitely. Right, we finna get to the paint now, y'all. Yeah, yeah.
what's up, man. Yeah, it's like I was like all of a sudden you gonna you gonna learn. You am like, oh this is how I need to have been doing it. So just keep going it and you gonna figure it out. Uh, what you doing with it then? Yeah. What kind of techniques you use instead of hand?
I mean, hey, if it's working for you, stay at hand. Keep doing your thing, man. But I can, I'm gonna tell you, be mindful of starting off with them lighter colors, depending on what color you working on. Because um, once you get to that last dark color, if you're using your airbrush, it can um, kind of over spray into your light and it'll kind of mess it up depending on what colors you're working with like with neons and stuff like that it uh um, just like you can go on from a you say uh like a green to a, a blue or something like that or yellow to a blue it can that blue like you just say you spraying like this way or whatever and you already started off with the yellow up in here. If you spray it that way, it's going to get on to that yellow in spots that you didn't want it to get on to. So if you're going to start, if that's how you're going to do it, I would say go the other way. You know what I'm saying? If you already, if you ain't already doing it, I'm just trying to, you know what I'm saying, help you just in case. You know, if you weren't already doing it, if you're going to start off with a lighter color, I'd say blend it backwards instead of trying to spray this on forward. Just a little something I learned along the way. Mm -hmm. The strap done came out. Okay, now it's time to go to the other shoes. Right here. Finna bleach these guys some more. I'm about to change the color on them. Yeah, you gotta switch the style up on them guys.
what I'm finna do to him. I think I'm gonna do these just all red. Except for like the sock line and stuff like that, but like all the denim. Hold on. Check that one time. Like all the denim, I'm finna do that red. I might, I don't know if I'm gonna switch the mid sole up too. I might do that all red too. I don't know. I'm not sure yet. All right now, I got to get this little bleach in here, guy. Almost. Hey, me. Oh, that's crazy. My bad, y'all. This one was tripping. You talking about like splatter drip or like talking about like airbrushing a drip or um let me know quite then we're good with it man I wish I had my brush that I be using to get them turned right, right. To get full coverage, but mm, it be alright. With the splatter, I use be using two things. Like all I do is just use my uh, cause I, I make my airbrush, my paints airbrush ready for the ones I use a lot. So I just take this same bottle and I do my splatters. And then with uh, painting the drip, I go straight in with the paint is just I go straight in with the uh. Just with the paint. Just so it fill in faster. Man, what good with it, my boy? y'all just coming in let me show y'all what i'm doing i'm bleaching these so i can uh because i want to go ahead and dye them red i think i might try to do like an all red i might even paint the mid so red i don't know as y'all can see how these turning all right now If y'all gonna bleach, make sure. I ain't gonna say make sure, but like the best way to bleach stuff is with the sun. If you ain't already know, cause it turns way faster. And it's like the sun activate the bleach and all that good stuff. So if you gonna bleach something, put it in the sun if the sun is out. But if you don't have that option, you just need to get it done. Your feet. So we're gonna let these guys sit out for a little second. 
in the city of the sun. Ooh, it's hot as a mug out here. Toasty, big old toasty. Yeah, that's why I did the mine. I got, I got, um, I did it just like how I be doing my jeans. Like with the uh, exacto knife, the sandpaper, uh, of course, bleach, all that. I wish I could, I should have took a picture before. I think I may have a picture of them. John. I had to find it though. But um, that's what I did to them at first. I just distressed them and uh, I dyed the, the bottoms red and all that good stuff. That's what's making me want to go ahead and do the whole shoe red. Dang, the sun would go down now. But, shit. I'm really straight, though. The sun really ain't stopping much. I'm, that's just basically, it's good now. I appreciate it, man. I appreciate you joining the squad. Philly in the building. Now I'm just doing these little touch-ups. This, these are basically done. They really finna be white, white. I just hope this bleach don't be real strong on it after I wash them and all that. But that's what happened last time. Last time I had to I had to wash them chunks out like in the washing machine like two times just to get the smell almost out. It still was like a little bit um bleachy smelling. So hopefully them chunks don't they don't be stupid this time. Hopefully they act right. I'm gonna put them just in the sun. So they keep getting shade over here. Ooh, nah, they hidden. I oh, dang, they wanna keep them like this. It depends on the design for me, bro. Cause like if it's if it's gonna be a shoe that I paint the whole shoe on the on the leather um on the leather shoe, I like to sand it. Uh, even if I don't go like crazy with the sand, I like to do like a light sand, something like a a six hundred sand, just all around the shoe, just to give it a little bit more extra uh, pores and stuff to make it hold on. But um, sometimes I do just. Just depending on the design, I will just only do acetone and then you know just go in like that. So hopefully that helps you out. And head back over here to the to the painting table. Oh, it's so hot out here. It's some beating song.
There we go. I don't know if that's it. Yeah, airbrush blue things. Uh, I, I don't have an airbrush blue, but uh, I normally would paint by a window to where I can keep that junk open while I paint. So the, I had a fan going and then I have the uh window open. You know, of course with the little screen to keep the bugs out and all that good stuff. But um I would say if you don't have a window available or whatever, I would say at least be in an area to where you can um ventilate the area because like now I paint in the garage and I don't have a um I don't have the, the airbrush booth or whatever because I don't have a window in the room that i paint in like in, inside the garage so all i do is just i paint for a second and then had the garage door open then i open up the door that's within the room and just let it air out like that but um i would say if you're gonna paint outside paint in that area kind of like this to where you can hold on i'm gonna show you you know what i'm saying something that's gonna keep uh a f bugs out or whatnot <laughs> Keep a few of them out and then have a cover over you. But if you don't have that luxury, mind you, get it how you live. You feel me? Make it happen. But I say, um, a paintbrush booth is, it's ideal. That's what I think. It's ideal, but it's not, you don't have to have it, but it's ideal. No problem, I guess.
Oh, that's what's up. But what I would say, I mean, you got interest in stuff like that, which is, is awesome. But what I would say is go ahead and invest in you the real thing. Get you some, some actual leather acrylic paint because if you just using that craft paint, um, it's not going to hold up the way that uh, a leather acrylic paint would to say the least you know what i'm saying and you don't want to be accepting people's money and everything and you can't fully guarantee that uh you know so it's gonna hold up and everything you feel me so yeah now now it's time that since you you know you can do this and you seeing people are interested in your art and everything yeah, it's gonna time it's time to invest now go on get right with it get everything you need and get to that chicken. I'm gonna let these dry and work and go and go back over here to these six. They really gonna they probably gonna dry fast as I don't know what cause it's so hot out here. I appreciate that man. Anything I can do to help my bro. I got you. I appreciate that, man. Appreciate the support. And I'm going to keep on dropping these videos. Helping with what I can. So if y'all want to see some, I always just throw it in the comments. If a video that you want to see, something you need help with, just throw it in the comments. And I'm going to get to it. I dang near done did everything that somebody didn't ask about. In a comment. I think I, I just about have done every one of them. Like if somebody asked about something, I think I have done almost every one of them. And if I ain't, I'm going to get to it. I use, uh, hold on, I'm gonna show you. I use the uh, LK top coat finisher. I'm about to show you. I just gotta put these shoes up real quick. Back in the sun. This is what I use. It's the best in the game, man. You can airbrush it on, you can paintbrush it on. Whatever you need to do, however you need to do it, you can do it. Waterproof, scratch resistant, all that good stuff. A super smooth finish. And whatever it says on the bottle, that's what it is. If it's a mat, it's a mat. 
If it's a gloss, it's gloss. You know, like with um, I ain't gonna say that about it, but you know, you can't be good at everything. But um, yeah, that's that's the best finisher out there, in my opinion. And any, I would say anybody, any experienced customizer that has used that will tell you the same thing. I guarantee that. Hold on, I'm on. Yeah, that uh, that tape residue can definitely be a um, a bummer and a time waster. So hold on, I'm gonna see if I can find mine because I got something to help with it. Two things actually. Here you go. All right, first, the first thing you can do is use, like, just say you typing up, um, like a saw, like a Jordan One, or a, a Air Force One or something like that on this rubber part. You know, like below the stitching, you can use a less tacky tape. Like, um, I get the little duct tape from Walmart because it's sticky enough to stick onto the saw, but not sticky enough to where it leaves residue. So. And that covers up most of the soul. I put that on there first, and then on top of it, I put like my actual tape, you know what I'm saying, to lock it in. And most of the time, it doesn't leave residue like above that line. It mostly leaves it on like towards the bottom and on the bottom, actual bottom. So I use that less tacky tape for that. And 
when it is residue or whatever, mm -hmm. I use one of these. You can get these at Dollar Tree and you can just rub it on there and it's gonna bring the tape. Cause you can actually see, hold on, let me see. That's like tape, all this is tape residue. You can get these at Dollar Tree. I know that's why I got mine at Dollar Tree and just rub it on there and it's gonna start bringing up all the little residue. And then on top of that, if you don't have one of these, you just take a piece of tape and you can rub that on there and it's gonna take up um, the most of that residue, the bulk of it, if not all of it. Hopefully that helps you out. Yeah, 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 but it's like much less aggressive, you know what I'm saying? It's less harsh. But yeah, that, that worked pretty good for me. I'm going to be honest with you, bro. I ain't buy the joint. <laughs> I ain't buy it. It was um, one of them little everyday gifts. One of them, hey, I saw this and thought you could use it type of joints. <laughs> it was one of those. So, honestly, I can't even tell you, fam. But I can ask, though. one of those y'all know how they go yeah y'all need to clean this thing y'all this mud Woo. Oh, that's what's up. You tired, young. How long, man? But that's what I'm here for, man. That's why I, I started my channel, man, to inspire people and you know what I'm saying, just be a genuine person instead of a um, a robot or a character on YouTube. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, man, I, that that's what I'm here for, and I appreciate you. All that good stuff, man. I appreciate you, man. That that keeps me going. You know. It keeps me going, knowing I'm doing the right thing, and I'm not just, you know, wasting time or nothing like that.
I'm finna go clean this out. This mug too dirty. I got all kinds of stuff stuck up in here. Check on these shoes. Yeah, they white, white. Oh, snap. Uh, I don't think I can clean. I, I'm finna have to. Watch them jumps off before they turn brown and all that mess. Been on here for an hour. That's wild. Man, hopefully I can get all three or uh, all four of these shoes done. I know I'm not though. Cause I gotta do like on one of them, I gotta do a bunch of not a bunch, but a few characters. I gotta do Dragon Ball Z characters and stuff. Y'all welcome. <laughs> wow. Shoot, I'm just, I'm happy to be appreciated. Thank you. I appreciate that for real. Get a way to promote. Yeah, yeah. All platforms. If you if you gonna be an artist or whatever you got going and you want to get it out there, all social media platforms, that's the way to go. You don't like literally every single oh, I'm not about to turn the camera around, but every single one of them, all of them Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, TikTok, uh, Facebook, uh, MySpace. You know what I mean? <laughs> literally everything. The, the more platforms you have, the better opportunity you have to get your work seen and uh, just get right, you know. But yeah, definitely, that's the way to go if you want to promote your stuff. Just be everywhere, you know? Maybe even buy a billboard, you know? It's no problem. It is no problem at all. I'm just trying to be what I wish I had when I started painting and just, uh, entrepreneurship and all that kind of stuff. I'm just trying to be what I wish I had. My boy, Jamal, we're good with it, man. Oh, snap. Front right side, right here. Ah. Oh, dang it. Oh, man. Do I hear it pushing? Nope, it's outside. <laughs> it's all good bro I, I don't even see the dislikes honestly they don't even show me that hey if they say if you ain't got no haters you ain't doing it right so hey it is what it is hey what's crazy is i'm actually starting to get them for real like trolls and stuff like at first like i say it just recently started happening with people coming to my stuff and kind of like trolling and stuff like that. 
like with me being on YouTube and stuff, I was like, dang, where the trolls at? <laughs> I don't see them yet. But uh, they, they be, they be, they been coming out of retirement for me lately. It's all good. I love everybody. I love everybody, man. They'll be all right. They're going to get over it. Whatever going on in their life to make them want to be that way, they're going to get through it. What's good with it, Chili? But yeah, man, that, that's how you come back that foolishness, man. Right? You know, you just keep doing you and, and, and being positive. Because, I mean, the hater going to be a hater. It's a, it's a reason why they mad. You feel me? It's a reason why, like, uh, the other day, I dropped a little, just like a little short video showing off some shoes I did or whatever. And, and this this how you know it's like, it don't it don't really be having nothing to do with you personally because like all right he, he he dropped a little comment or whatever and was like these trash af and i was like okay you know i was polite i still was polite and i'm gonna be that way unless you really just you know what I'm saying disrespect me on some like man type stuff then it's over with but like he, he was like these trash af i'm like okay you know my, my client liked them but you know if you feel that way like what could have I, I done better to make them not trash to you no response you know what i'm saying <laughs> yeah no response but like people just sometimes they have a bad day and just feel like trolling or they're not satisfied with their life or something like that you know i mean i never understand the hater fully because i've never been one but i can only imagine you know what i'm saying like how your life goes and why you that way but I don't know, man. Maybe one day they they'll get over it and they can actually do something constructive and positive with their lives. Besides coming on YouTube, finding folks and <laughs> and, and leaving a comment. Why well, you wasting so much time? Go get some money or something. Go be with your kids that you neglecting. exactly like you view my video if that was trash then like just keep going just keep scrolling but clearly they wasn't they was captivating you had you had to come through and say something because you can't do it that'd be the thing that's what really make them mad when you're doing something that they can't do ah oh man that's what they they really be hot about that but it's okay you know what i'm saying you can do it too that's why i'm on youtube to show you you can do it don't be mad. Get better. But it's all good, y'all. It is all good. I kind of like it, though, honestly. Like, I know people say, yeah, I like that. I feed off of that. And I mean, come on. Nah. We don't want negativity, but, like, it lets me know that I'm going in the right direction. If everybody liking your stuff, then somebody ain't telling you the truth. Or you just might be that good. I don't know. <laughs> but like they say, man, Jesus had haters. <laughs> so if you ain't got nothing, you doing something wrong. For real. I'm trying to get all these bleach out. I'm buying a color. Yes, I do. I actually have two of them. I have the Silhouette Cameo 3 and the uh, Silhouette Pro, I believe that's what they call it. The real big one. Yeah, that's, that's what we got going on as far as the, the Silhouette. I mean, the, the vinyl thing. We got those two. And honestly, I would say uh, just stick stick with the, the cheaper option because that, that big one is very difficult to work with. 
You know, so it really ain't no reason to trying to going out spending it was like five hundred dollars or something like this. On that thing and it's super difficult to work with and figure out all the different kinds of mess names. These coming out good, y'all. I slip. Man, I don't know if I need to. I don't know if I need to go back in with the bleach. Because in some parts it's lighter than the other. Um, no. All right, Lamar. The cameo three, ah oh, yeah, that one, that that one, I love that one. I love that cameo three. It's simple and straight to the point. I mean, they all good or whatever, but oh no, that that pro is overrated to me, honestly. It's extremely overrated. Dry the shoes. You talking about these in particular? The ones I'm working on right now? Or are you talking about well I'll address both then. Um with these, I'm just gonna let them sit out in the sun because it's hot as I don't know what right now. So I'm gonna just let these sit out in the sun, but with when I'm painting shoes, I either use my heat gun or just let it air dry. Like when I'm working on more than one. Wetting the inside uh, a little bit. The inside of these are wet a little bit. But I'm going to throw these in the washing machine anyway. To try to get that bleach smell out of them. So it really don't even matter. Honestly. So yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to set these outside and then. Probably throw them in the washer soon. Thank you. Blue butterfly fly. I appreciate you stopping by. Oh snap. Yeah, my phone's gonna die. <laughs> my phone is about to die. It's on three percent. I appreciate y'all pulling up and kicking it with me, man. I'm going to continue to work because I got an event coming up on the 18th. It's a sneaker event, and uh, I got to probably get around like 20 pairs of shoes done this week. <laughs> so, I'm going to holler at y'all, man. I appreciate you coming through, kicking it with your dog. Make sure you subscribe if you ain't already subscribed. If you're on the live, you might as well subscribe. But, you know, yeah, I'm going to catch y'all next time.